Students, now we are discussing homogeneous linear equations or Cauchy Euler equations. In the previous videos, we discussed a, a linear differential equation with two constant quotients. Now we are discussing linear differential equation with the variable quotient. A linear differential equation is in the form of a naught x to the power of n into d power n y by dx to the power of n plus a1 x to the power of n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 y by dx to the power of n minus 1 so on plus a n minus 1 x into dy by dx plus a n into y is equal to q of x is called a Euler Cauchy equation okay now it is in a variable coefficient like now in this case we use the operator d then it will become a naught x power n into this is you can write as d power n into y so y i will write later first i am writing d power n i can take y is common from the each term in the above equation so this will become a1 x power n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 so on plus a n minus 1 x d plus a n into y is equal to q of x okay now you see this is again in the form of f of d into y is equal to q of x but here x for, uh, here the quotient of d power n are involved functions of x so in this case first we have to make this function into constant quotient here you have variable quotient for that uh, we need to introduce uh, the new independent variable z is equal to log x then you will get here dy by dx we have this is dy dy is nothing but dy by dx dy by dx you see y is a function of x dy by dx in that uh, y is dependent on x z is equal to log x we are written or else simply you can write uh, x is equal to e to the power of z so z is uh, in terms of uh, x you see i want a dy by dx dy by dx you can write like dy by dz into dz by dx by the total difference you can write like this this is dy by dz you don't know dz by dx if z is equal to log x what is the dz by dx here you have 1 by x Consider this given equation as 1 and uh, this as equation number 2. In this case, now take this x is left side, then you will get x into dy by dx is equal to dy by dz. This is x into dy is equal to, you can consider this as another derivative d dash or else simply it is better, this is d dash y, simply it is better to write theta, I am writing like theta. Okay, no? So, whenever x into dy by dx is there, you write down theta. Similarly, if you are simplified, x square into d square y by dx square, you will get theta into theta minus 1. x cube d cube y by dx cube, you can write like theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2. Here, you remember, theta is nothing but here, differentiation with respect to z d is nothing but dy is nothing but differentiation with respect to x theta is nothing but differentiation with respect to z see here d nothing but d by dx theta is nothing but d by dz remember this okay now what will happen if you replace these all values in the equation one then you will get here that finally in the form of f of theta into y is equal to q of x is equal to e power z na? so x is in terms of z so q of z form this is now variable separable uh, uh, excuse me variable form the variable quotient will become constant quotient constant linear differential equation with a constant quotient and earlier we discussed how to solve these type of the problems just we will consider uh, q, uh, to find the solution of f of theta into y is equal to q of z 
let q of z is equal to 0 then you will get the complementary function for that you have to consider y is equal to e power mz is a solution then you will get f of m is equal to 0 then you will get the roots then the roots are maybe real or complex finally you will get the complementary function in terms of z later you replace z is equal to log x now similarly particular integral particular integral pi is equal to 1 by f of theta into q of z previously we have discussed for a particular integral whenever q of x is given same procedure we will apply finally we will replace z uh, x is in terms of z or else z is in terms of x okay now we will solve the problems based on this method first problem solve x square into d square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 4y is equal to 0 you see in this problem the quotients are variables so this is a prob this problem is example for euler cauchy equation whenever the euler cauchy equation is given then we have to convert uh, this one into from variable quotient to constant quotient for that uh, we will apply x is equal to e to the power of z that implies z is equal to log x and uh, in place of uh, x into d is equal to we will let theta comma x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 here theta is uh, differentiation with respect to z and uh, uh, d is differentiation with respect to x now substitute these all values in the above equation then you will get theta into theta minus 1 minus 3 into x into dy by dx means theta plus 4 into y is equal to 0 now you simplify this then you will get theta square minus theta minus 3 theta so you will get minus 4 theta plus 4 into y is equal to 0 so this is i can write like theta minus 2 whole square is theta minus 2 whole square into y is equal to 0 so here let y is equal to e power m z is a solution then we will get the auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0 that is m minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 so you will get here the roots are m is equal to 2 comma 2 the roots are real roots are here real and repeated so the complementary function y cf is equal to c1 e power z plus c2 z into e power 2z sorry 2z you need to write why i have written z because theta is a differentiation with respect to z okay now d is nothing but a differentiation with respect to x whenever d is a differentiation with respect to x and the roots are 2 comma 2 we will let c1 e power 2x plus c2 x into e power 2x but here uh, the function is in terms of theta nothing but in terms of z that is why we are writing c1 e power 2z plus c2 z into e power 2z and uh, now you replace z is in terms of x we know that uh, uh, x is equal to e power z so e power z is equal to x whenever e power 2z is given that will become x square so you will get c1 x square plus c2 log x into x square this is the complementary function simply you can write this as c1 plus c2 log x into x square now particular integral particular integral is 1 by f of theta into q of z but q of z is here 0 here. so entire the particular integral will become 0 hence the complete solution y of x is equal to c1 plus c2 log x into x square plus 0 okay once again i am repeating here this problem see this is they are given x square into d square y by dx square minus 3x into dy by dx plus 4y is equal to 0 in this case you see they are given a variable quotient here so we have to convert into constant quotient for that we will use x is equal to e power z then z is equal to log x here so uh, here you see x into d you can write like uh, theta x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 in place of x square d square you write down theta into theta minus 1 in place of x you write down theta and a constant y is uh, y only here after simplifying you will get theta minus 2 whole square into y is equal to 0 uh, for this complementary function we, we need to consider y is equal to e power m z is a solution 
then the axillary equation f of m is equal to 0 it will become m minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 m is equal to 2 comma 2 roots but here you see complementary function uh, the differential equation is in terms of z so you will get the y uh, you will get the solution y is in terms of z so y is equal to c1 e power 2 z plus c2 z into e power 2 z because 2 is a repeated now in place of uh, x is equal to e power z we will get so e power 2 z is nothing but x square z is equal to log x this is the solution for this next problem solve x into y3 plus y2 is equal to 1 by x here y3 is nothing but 3 times differentiation y2 is nothing but 2 times differentiation you see actually whenever y3 is there if it is in euler quasi or homogeneous linear equation that time the degree of uh, the quotient of uh, x that is x degree is also 3 only but here use uh, here you don't have 3 so once you see here cross multiply with uh, x uh, it is where uh, problem is rearranging uh, you will get here x square y3 plus x y2 is equal to 1 even though if you are not getting a y3 quotient as x cube so what we will do means multiply with uh, x again so in this case here you will get a uh, x cube into this is i am writing d cube y by d x cube plus x if you multiplied x square into d square y by d x square is equal to 1 into x become x now it is a homogeneous linear equation or also euler cauchy equations now in this case to find the solution of y we have to uh, change the variable quotient to constant quotient for that we will use in place of dy theta in place of d square y is equal to theta into theta minus 1 in place of dq y is equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 here you are considering the function x is equal to e power z remember d is nothing but differentiation with respect to x theta is nothing but differentiation with respect to z so if you are simplifying the complementary function and particular integral you will get the solution in terms of z later z you have to replace with x okay now you see replace in terms of x replace in terms of x now simple uh, substitute these all values in the above equation now theta uh, x cube d cube is nothing but theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 plus x square d square is nothing but theta into theta minus 1 is equal to x x is equal to here you have e to the power of z so if you are simplified this first multiplication here you will get here t cube first i can take theta into theta minus 1 is common theta into theta minus 1 if you are taken common you will get theta minus 2 plus 1 is equal to e to the power of z this is theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 1 again you are getting and this is is equal to 0 so theta into this is theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 into y is equal to 0 here i forgot to write y y is there is equal to e to the power of z e to the power of z okay. now this will become theta cube minus 1, 2 theta square plus theta into y is equal to e to the power of z now we have to find the solution for this now you observe the given problem is with the variable question now we are converted into constant question how you will solve the constant question to solution here for this first we will get the solution of general solution is y of x is equal to complementary function plus a particular integral so we need to find the complementary function after that we need to find the particular integral to get the complementary function we have to consider right side part to q of z is equal to 0 and uh, y let uh, y is equal to e power mz is a solution of f of theta is equal to 0 then you will get to axillary equation f of m is equal to 0 that is m cube minus 2m square plus m is equal to 0 if you take an m is common then you will get to m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 if you simplify this then you will get the roots are m is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 1 hence the complementary function cf in terms of z y of z is equal to c1 e power 0 z plus c2 plus c3 z c2 plus c3 z into e to the power of z because 
वन इज रिपीटेड ट्वाइस ओके नौ रीप्ले जड इ पवर जड इज ईक्वल टू एक्स एंड जड इज ईक्वल टू लाग एक्स दे गेट फंक्षन इन टर्म्स आफ एक्स ओके नाट जड इज ईक्वल टू एक्स रईट सर वी आर डिस्कसिंग नौ द फंशन इन टर्म्स आफ एक्स वी विल गेट सी वन इ पवर जेड मीन इ पवर जीरो जेड मीन वन प्लस सी टू प्लस सी थ्री लाग एक्स इ टू दि पवर आफ जेड मीन इयर यू हाव एक्स ओके नौ पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल पी ईज ईक्वल टू वन बै एफ आफ टीटा इंटू क्यू आफ जेड सो वन बै इयर यू हाव टीटा इंटू डैरेक्टली टीटा क्यूब मैनस टू टीटा स्क्वे प्लस टीटा इंटू इ पवर जेड इयर यू सी दिस इन द फॉर्म आफ वन बै एफ आफ टीटा इंटू इ पवर जेड सो वी विल रीप्लेस टीटा इज ईक्वल टू वन इफ यू सबू टीटा इज ईक्वल टू वन यू सी वाट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन मैनस टू प्लस वन इंटू इ पवर जेड वन प्लस वन इज टू टू मैनस टू इज जीरो ओके दिस इज जीरो वेन एवर द डिनामेटर इज जीरो एलियर वी आर डिस्कस न्यूमरेटर यू रेड ऑन एक्स वेन यू विल रेड एक्स इन द न्यूमरेटर इफ the function is uh, in terms of uh, x but here the function is in terms of z so you write on here z by denominator you have to differentiate theta cube differentiation is what here with respect to theta if you are differentiated 3 theta square minus 2 theta square derivative is 4 theta plus 1 into e to the power of z now again you replace z is equal to 1 then you will get z e power z by 3 plus 1 4 4 minus 4 Zero. So again, you are getting zero. So what we will do in this case? Again, you have to write numerator z. So z into z, z square. Again, you differentiate this one. Then in this case, you will get a. With respect to theta, you differentiate here. Six theta minus four into one. So four into e to the power of z. Sorry. Uh, here you have z. So multiply the numerator with respect to z, and the denominator you differentiate with respect to. Theta. Then you will get six theta minus four into e power z. Now you replace z is equal to one because we have z is e power z again. Now z square by six into one six minus four into e power z. So z square by two into e power z. Now write down z is equal to log x. X is equal to z uh, e power z is equal to x. So you will get here x by two into log x. Whole square. This is the particular integral. Hence, the general solution y of x is equal to c f plus complementary function plus particular integral. So the complementary function is here c one plus c two plus c three log x into x plus. This is particular integral here. You have x by two into log x whole square. Okay. Where c one, c two, c uh, c three are arbitrary constant. This is the solution whenever they are given homogeneous linear differential equation or else Euler-Cauchy equation form. Thank you for watching this video.